Hello, on this episode of Less Code, More Power, we're gonna be talking about robotic process automation with Steven. We learned there's no robots, but lots of machines doing your work for you. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to Less Code, More Power. I'm Sarah Critchley and I'm joined by my amazing co-host, Donna Sorkart. And guess what? We have a really interesting guest for you today. Do you want to tell so, us? So, yeah, I can't honestly, I can't wait. We're so excited. I know that we're, we, we always say that we're excited, which is kind of funny, which is our default natural state for anyone that knows us. So we are joined by Stephen today. If you, if, if you don't know which Stephen that I'm talking about, he is the master of Power Automate. And obviously it's been in the news today. Definitely recommend checking him out if you've not, if you've not heard of him or seen him, uh, really evangelize the platform. So welcome to the show, Stephen. Great, thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime, you yeah. This is yeah, crash us anytime, though, no, seriously. You can. That would be fun. Great, great. Yeah. Is, so tell us awesome. big announcements about Power Automate mm -hmm. at Ignite, like a few weeks ago, whenever Ignite happened. So this is the latest hotness. Everyone is finally talking about this. So so tell us, tell us about the announcements, the latest thing, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, absolutely. So so the big news is that Power Automate Desktop, uh, which we we call robotic process automation. You know, unfortunately, there's no real robots involved. These are all just software robots doing tasks on your behalf. But Power mm -hmm. Automate Desktop is now available for free uh, to anybody who has Windows 10. Uh, so you can actually download it, uh, get started without having any, you know, special licenses or really anything to get started. It's super easy. I love that because one of the huge issues I know a lot of people have had with Power Automate is like, where do you go? How do you start? How much does it cost? Et cetera, et cetera. And I like the fact that you are just bringing it to an operating system that happens to have, you know, a billion people using it. Right. Um, and they don't have to go anywhere special. They just use the thing, the tools they're used to. And believe you me, as a Windows dev, I will tell you, Windows people has a lot of issues that we could automate. Yeah. A lot, a yeah. lot, lot. Yeah. That's, that's definitely true. And I mean, that's the thing that excites us the most is what we're saying is, hey, automation should really just be something that any Windows user should be able to use mm -hmm. to improve the way that they're doing their daily work, their job, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it may be. You know, there's a ton of things that people do that are just copy and pasting yes. that you could just automate away. Yeah, I love that. And um, believe me, you know who's going to be really excited? The Windows Insiders. Yes. Um, of course, we will tag them all and tell them all about it. Uh, Windows Insiders, you've been waiting for like a new thing in Windows to show up for years. This is the new thing. Go play with it, try it out, test your scenarios, send feedback to the team. The team is so hyper vigilant about feedback. And this is coming from me who believes no one's hyper vigilant about feedback, but this team is really hyper vigilant. So please try it out. Um, speaking of try it out, Stephen, do you have something to show us? I do. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I have my, my desktop here. So if we could take a look at that. And you know what I've done is I've, this is just my, my personal Windows 10 PC actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not my work computer. And I've just downloaded Power Automate desktop onto this machine. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I signed in using my normal Microsoft account, my, actually my personal Microsoft account. And what that means is when I did that, I didn't have to pay anything extra. You know, mm -hmm. I, the fact that I'm a Microsoft employee didn't get me anything special. Uh, but I was able to sign in and I created a few a desktop flows here. Now, what's interesting about this is these desktop flows, because it's using my own personal account, they're actually just stored in my OneDrive. Um, mm. So if I go to my OneDrive folder, there's this apps folder. You could actually open this up and see there's now a Power Automate desktop for Windows. And I can see kind of the, the files for all of my Power Automate desktop flows are actually being stored in your OneDrive using your regular Microsoft account. Um, so that's, that's, you know, one, one thing that I think is kind of exciting. Um, but the, the scenario that I like to show you is actually, you know, just a really common scenario that a lot of people do where, you know, if I have an email and I want to send it to a few different people, but I don't want them to each know that I sent it to the other person, you know, maybe I want to get status updates from the people on my team. Right. And there's a bunch of people that have not put in their status yet but I want to you know, really ping them and make sure that they do their status. I could put them all on the two line or even the BCC line, but that's a pretty obvious tell that other people haven't done their work too, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did is I just created this flow real quick. Uh, and this is a desktop flow. And really, it's it, it looks a little complicated here, but I'll show you as it runs. All it does is it takes uh, a email addresses that I just put into an Excel spreadsheet, and it'll just send an email uh, from Outlook using these email addresses. So we can hit it run, and if uh, if the demo gods are with us, it'll uh, it'll work. Uh, and when you whenever you run a desktop flow, you can actually see kind of what step it's on. You see it's it's opened up Outlook for me now. Uh, it's going to go and click on new email, so that'll open up the new email window in a in a second here. It'll take those email addresses that I had pasted into Excel, uh, put them into the email and actually just typed that full email and sent it out right there. And I selected two emails actually in Excel. So it's actually gonna do that same thing twice. But this is really the value of automation is, you know, I'm not touching the keyboard. This is, this is happening entirely magically in the background, uh, automatically sending out those messages. Um, and that's it. I mean, it's, it's really a pretty straightforward scenario. But what's exciting about that is if I had you know, 10 different email addresses, I'd have to go and copy that 10 different times, you know, tweak those updates, get them sent out. Maybe I'll accidentally you know, miscopy the, 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 the email one time and, and somebody will get two updates, you know, that type of thing. So the nice thing about this is it really just automates that entire process. And we can, we can take a look at, at what it looks like uh, inside of the flow. So the flow itself, it just gets the data from Excel. So that's what's happening mm -hmm. at the top here. Then for each row, so this is going through, kind of iterating through each of those rows inside Excel. It's you know uh, sending the keyboard shortcut to create a new message in Outlook, populating the two line in the email, uh, putting the subject. You know I can change this subject. I just typed in subject because I was boring. But in mm -hmm. reality, this would be like you know, something like, you know, please send status update ASAP. So you can see how easy it is to change the flow and what it does. And this is amazing. And and I think based on your based on your demo, right, this is this is an attended an attended um, flow, right? So for yep. the audience out there that makes the difference between attended and unattended, would you be able to just explain that to them? Sure. Yeah. So this is attended because hey, I'm running this on my PC. Uh, and when I click this, I actually, I see it run, right? And, you know, it runs, uh, I, I see the windows pop up as it goes along. Uh, so attended means, you know, I'm, I, as the person that's running this, I kind of watch it and, and see it as it goes. A unattended flow would actually run entirely in the background, uh, you know, maybe on a virtual machine inside of Azure. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, I, uh, that means that I don't have to have these windows kind of popping up on my computer while it's going. So unattended is really useful for those kind of major processes that are uh, business critical that you don't want to be interfering with somebody's PC as it's running. Right. Brilliant. No, that makes perfect sense. And there's going to be use cases for both of them, right? Yeah, absolutely. So for for a lightweight process like this, it just helps me to because mm -hmm. I mean, this process only works right now, at least because you know I put these email addresses into Excel and I click go. Uh, so if I have uh, if I tried to run this unattended, it wouldn't work because yeah. I, you know I don't my this Excel file isn't open on a random VM in Azure, right? Mm -hmm. So it would actually be a lot more work to make this process, which is pretty lightweight, work in an unattended VM running in Azure. Uh, so lightweight processes like these are really about kind of copy and pasting between different systems, helping me out as a user. That's really useful to have that attended scenario. And you know, when we were talking a little bit about, hey, this is free as a part of Windows. So these attended scenarios here, these are, these are free as a part of Windows now. Unattended is a separate kind of paid add-on uh, that you have to pay for in order to, to get you know, as, as a part of your business. So, yeah. Okay. I love this because there's so many scenarios where we have to do a repetitive thing mm -hmm. and it sucks, right? It sucks. No one likes that. And like you were saying, the chances of mistakes are like, you're going to make them hundred percent of the time. Anytime you're copying and pasting stuff from here to there, you're going to mess that up because clipboards just are not that reliable and your memory is not that reliable. So I, I so appreciate this so much. And I know we can think of like 75 examples. Just Sarah and I scheduling people for the show. 
Yeah, exactly. Mm. Right now, it's this horrible thing that she has to do. She's like, hey, are you still on? Are we still on? Are we still on? Are we still on? That's and such a good idea. That's, yeah. We'll have you back, Stephen. Like, I'll do this to schedule people for the show, mm -hmm. schedule our guests, and send, like, confirmation emails out. Like, it was like when you were asking me for the join link as well. Like, yeah. I can totally do that. Exactly. Like, we yep. can send them. Like, you're invited on this date. Here's the join link. Go, go do it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. like that might be a case where uh, it, you know, it depends on what you're doing, but that you may want that to ru run no matter what in the background. So that might be an untended flow. Mm -hmm. Or if you just want to be able to come in here and you know say, hey, I'm going to send my reminders now, um, you can do that and it's an attended flow. So it's really up to you. I love it. This is so fabulous. All right. So we never let our guests go without assigning homework for the audience. What do you yeah. want our watching audience to know and do today? So what I'd love is if they go to powerautomate.com mm -hmm. and download Power Automate Desktop. So like we said, I'll repeat it again. This is now available at no additional cost mm -hmm. for Windows 10 users. Uh, this scenario that we just saw and you know a whole myriad of other complex scenarios you can do by just downloading this, running it on your PC, uh, and, and you'll be able to start automating. So that's what, that's what I hope you do. I, I wish all that. our guests came on the show and removed licensing from the products. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're like, free you say, that's interesting. Right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Dear Windows users, this does not happen that often. So please take advantage of it. If you don't use it, they're going to be like, oh, no one used it. Let's get rid of it. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go use it. Use it. Do the thing. Send them feedback because they really listen. Like, Stephen wouldn't come on the show and do a demo if he didn't want feedback. That would be weird. So by all means, go forth and do the thing. Absolutely. So, thank you, Stephen, so much for joining us and sharing with us this cool new thing. We can't wait to hear more about robotic process automation without robots, but our automate desktop for all. Thank yep. you. Thanks. Thank you so much. And let's code. code more power. <laughs>